Hey guys, my name is Wen Ting. Hopefully you watch my keyboard icon video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you another icon using a similar strategy of the box, box shadow CSS trick, but with a little, a little bit of twist. This time, I'm going to make the main object show. So that add more constraints. That's why I introduced the negative spread value before, because that will come out really handy in this tutorial. So the icon we're about to draw today is the sun icon. It can be seen in a lot of weather app. You probably already know what it looks like. So I'm not going to do any research. I'm just going to straight out draw this icon in sketch uh, to give you an idea of how, how to think of when you draw icons in sketch, when you mock it up, what constraints should you think in your mind. Uh, because we're eventually going to build it with just CSS and with one div. So let's get started. The frame is 21 by 21. I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle. So everything starts with a rectangle. I know that in Sketch you can draw oval directly, but that's not how CSS works. CSS works um, with div, and every div eventually is a box. And you you start with a box and you add border radius, it becomes a rounded corner rectangle, and you add more border radius, eventually you will get a circle. So I'm gonna start with a solid color field. Actually I'm gonna do the line icon because that's what, that's my constraint, right? So I'm gonna do a square. And remember to be, it has to be even numbered so it can be centered perfectly. And then I'm gonna just push the radius to the extreme and it will end up being a circle. So now I'm gonna draw those, those light coming out of the sun. Okay. You know what, actually, in this case, it should be an odd number so that this dot will, can be centered with the main main object. So I'm going to change it to 10. Make it relatively centered, but not, not perfect centered. OK. Make another one. Leave one pixel margin, so always one pixel. No, this should be two pixel because this is six pixel to the top and five pixel to the bottom. Okay. That's two pixel to the main object. That's my theory. And we're going to draw those four. Those four, it has to be pixel fitted. So we need to find the best option among all those, like um, between all those uh, pixel grid. So let's try that. I think that looks OK. Yep. OK, this is a sound that I came up with. It looks all right. Let's start building this thing. Creating the HTML. I'm just going to keep using this code pen. So 
I, I mentioned that every dev have two procedural elements. Today we're only going to use one of the procedural elements. It could be either before or after. No, actually, I, I take that back. We're not going to even use any procedural elements. We're just going to use the div itself, no procedural elements, and to achieve this sum. The div itself will be this little circle, which is a square with extreme large border radius, 15%, 50 per, 50%. And then it's going to cast eight shadows in eight directions become those lights coming out of the sun. The, me the, the metrics of the, the main object is 10 by 10, minus the boulder, boulder, boulder width, so it's going to be a width. 8 pixel height, 8 pixel boulder solid, 1 pixel, and black boulder radius, 15 pixels. 50, 50%. I'm also going to add margin. Okay. And the next thing will be adding those box shadows. Let's start with one, and we can. When we when we get one, we can get the rest of the rest of the shadows. Let's take this for example. This thing, um, the x offset is from the center, so it will be ten, nine, nine. Let's try nine. Nine pixel. Y offset is zero. Blur zero. Sprayed, huh? That's the interesting part. So the main object is 10 by 10. The shadow should be 2 by 2. So 10 minus 2 equals 8 divided by 2 is 4 pixel. Negative 4 pixel. And let's make the shadow black, even though the default is already black. And starting from here, we can get the other side which is negative 9 pixel, 0, y offset, 0, blur, negative 4 pixel, sprite, black, color. And then we're going to get the top and the bottom. So the x will be 0, y offset, the bottom one, will be 9 pixel, blur, 0, negative 4 pixel, sprite, and the top one, negative. So now we get those four. The other four, let's see, was about two pixel offset and two pixel offset on the y axis as well. So it'll be, for example, this. This uh, this dot compared to this one, it will be offset x offset minus two pixel. So it will be seven pixel, and the y offset compared to this one, also two pixel. It will be seven pixel um, as well. And make it four. Copy it four times. Voila, you already got a sum. Now I think my math might be a little off. Let's check by taking a screenshot and put it back in the video, but back in the mark. Indeed, it's offset by one pixel. It is hard to calculate because the circle is big and you cannot start from, from, from the border, you have to start from the center. So let's adjust the, 
adjusted it. All the 9 pixels should be 8 pixels instead. And 7 should, probably should be 6. Yep, yeah, I think that looks better. Taking another screenshot, let's remove this one. Yeah, this is odd because this one is off by one pixel. I wonder why. Maybe my mark is off. Yeah, my mark is off. So this should be right. So you see, like it, it's, it's not a one-time thing. You cannot get it right the first time. When you do the mock-up, you can make some mistake. That could be fixed when you code it up. And when you code it, you may make mistake, mistakes. That can be guided by your mark. And here we have it, the sum. I hope you enjoy it. Um, keep, if you enjoyed, please subs subscribe. Thank you.